everyone. So I'm here today to introduce you an amazing class about our GAPS health. And to be honest, many of us might suffer with digestion issues like, you know, some others with IBS, constipation. And let's be honest, when we spend a long time at home, this is a normal phenomenon, right? So I want to show you a series of stretches today that you can do on your own time. Um, and whatever you are really, they do not even require any equipment, but you can access the stretches in order to release tension from the body and as a result to improve your digestion. So before we get started, we're gonna bring our hands on the top of the knees and as we always do, we're gonna stay a few moments in stillness and silence with the eyes closed. Just relax the shoulders away, the ears, lengthen through the spine. And just breath. Just take a few really big, slow, mindful breaths as you inhale imagine you're breathing in vitality openness purification each time you exhale imagine you release all the tension breathing in and breathing out every in breath you're becoming taller with every out breath you're becoming more relaxed you are softening just try to find your own normal effortless automatic breath rhythm feeling your body's pulsating movement Feeling how does your body respond to your breathing. With an exhalation, bring both hands on the top of your heart center. And when you're ready, gently open your eyes. So we're going to get started by having our hands around the knees. And we're going to start row circles, just from the left side to the right. And vice versa. So taking your time here, breathing in and breathing out. Beautiful. And with the next inhalation from here, we're gonna hack the knees, we're gonna arch the lower back, lift the chest, drop the shoulders, gaze up. And as we exhale, we're gonna start rounding the spine, right? So one single vertebra at a time, rounding, rounding, rounding the spine. And at the very end, you drop your head. Breathing in, one single inch at a time. And exhale, round, round, round the spine, gaze to the belly. Three more times here, breathing in. I'm breathing out. In the hand. And exhale. With the next inhalation, come back to the center and just between these two extremes, between the between arching and rounding the spine, is where you find your natural length of the spine, right? It's where you find the natural curve in the lumbar spine, where you find more expansion in the chest. So now as we're here, we're going to open our legs. And just uh, you can have the knees a little bit bended. Option A, knees a little bit bended. You can have the legs a little bit more forwards if you want, right? It's completely up to you. And option one, you stay here, you relax the feet down. Or option B, if you feel like you can have the legs wide open, feel free to go there and grab your ankles. So either here 
grab the ankles either here and option one lengthen through the spine or option two just hinge a little bit forwards and stay and as I said if we are here it might be easier for you to fall just just to move a little bit forwards hinging from the hips one more breath here, inhale and when you're ready, exhale and just see how does it feel for the body from the pelvis, the lower abdomen area and when you're ready, exhale and come into your knees, connect the knees and just Bring the upper body down and relax to your forehead and bring the palms to face upwards. Just drop your arms down and relax. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhaling, letting go. Exhaling, softening. One more breath. And when you're ready, come up. And from here, we're gonna just gonna arch the lower back a little bit. And when you're ready, exhale, stretch your arms all the way up. Exhale, move down and see if you can bring here the elbows down. And open the knees, keep wide the part open. Now, option one, we stay here. Option two, we move the pelvis a little bit forwards and backwards. And with the next inhalation, make sure the knees are right under the hip joints. Knees are open, hip wide apart, and stretch your arms forwards. So and come into this nice puppy pose. So drop your head and relax. Open your heart. You can just tighten a little bit the abdomen so you protect the lower back. And stay here for three. Three breaths and just try to be as relaxed as possible here. If there is any tension in the shoulders, breathe into this area. One last breath. Inhale. And when you're ready, exhale. Press your hands down. And with the next inhalation, Slowly and gently walk your hands forwards, 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 bring the pelvis down. And now from here we're gonna do this, a baby cobra. So we're gonna lift the body up. You can have the feet open or the big toes connected if you want. And exhale, drop the head down. We're gonna do the same for three more times, just to strengthen the lower back. So inhale, lift, 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 squeeze the glutes. And exhale, drop. And try to lengthen the spine forwards before you start lifting your chest. And see. Breathing in. And breathing out. Bring the knees closer to your chest. Slowly and gently bring yourself all the way up. And come into the seated pose like position. Bring your hands to your heart center. Breathing in and let go breathing surrender breathing as you exhale remind yourself this is like radical acceptance each and every exhalation relax when you're ready, bring your hands together in front of your heart center. Take a moment to reflect on this yoga experience. And when you're ready, open your eyes and welcome back. Thank you so much for having me, guiding you through this journey. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on our next class. Bye, everyone.